Meetopia is a fan fiction writer disguised as a character creator disguised as a video game. This is actually a remake of a 3DS title which I feel is a little more acceptable since you can get a substantial leap in quality going from a handheld title to a console one. Generally. Mii's recently have kind of seemed like an afterthought in titles, especially now that we've moved away from the Wii and Wii U. I know I only had three Mii's on my Switch, and if it weren't for Smash's Mii Fighters, or the fact that certain online titles needed to use friend codes that I accepted on an alt account, I would have only had the one. I've seen creative uses of them in Smash, but that's about it on the Switch. Until Miitopia, of course, which is absolutely insane. The character creator essentially allows you to plaster as many shapes and gradients as you want on top of a Mii face, which allows for some incredible creations. True, a fair amount of them look significantly worse as soon as you tilt them to the side or they emote, but still. The first few hours for me were just spent creating my avatar in CC, which was really fun. Although, it did leave me wondering why this isn't the baseline for me creation nowadays. Imagine how much more fun Mii's would be in any title if you could have them look like this. But right, there's actually a game behind the character creator. I never played the 3DS title, although I had played Tomodachi Life and loved that. Since it was brand new to me, I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. I just saw the announcement a while back and thought it'd be a fun game to stream. As far as Miitopia goes, it's a pretty tame concept with pretty generic RPG combat. The main draw is obviously being able to pick and choose characters, so I can have Cece and I who have to save Mario's face to quell his mother Beetle's worry after Dark Lord Yondev attacked the village run by DK. And if your first pick isn't silly enough or you find a better me, you can always swap them around later if you want. Battles take place in random encounters and boss fights, they follow a turn-based system, however you can only control your main me. Sure, I wish I could control everyone, but that'd kind of make the game even easier than it is. Not to mentioned since it's my characters, it's kind of amusing when I'm interacting with Cece like, just do your sweep on all the low HP enemies and we can beat this in one turn. MP candy? With, no! Sweep! I'm already eating it. Oh, come on! This trap will keep me safe. Nah. Kind of brings me to the main draw of Miitopia, at least for me. I'm an artsy fartsy boy, so my lame ass self self-inserted myself into the role of hero. And my OCs as my first party members. Outside of a role, your look, and personality, you don't choose much else, and the game will put your characters in silly situations and present you with... Oddly fitting dialogue? I can't tell you how big of a smile I was making seeing Sig and Tessa actually getting into scenarios even if it wasn't my writing or animation. This game oozes charm and the dialogue is actually pretty funny. I found myself audibly chuckling at a lot of the scenes. You get to bond characters too by having them go on outings or helping each other in battle. This gives them a plethora of buffs and extra moves, but if everyone is close, then jealousy starts to rear its ugly head. <laughs> Sig, what are you- where are uh, oh Sig likes Tessa and saw it all. <laughs> no. Is Sig getting cucked by CC? Sigh. Sig is jealous of CC. <laughs> The whole time I've been playing this, I've just kind of gotten a Konosuba vibe. None of the characters really take things very seriously, there's a lot of fourth wall breaks and a ton of stupid moments. I thought it was funny that one of the draws in the trailer was that you get a horse, but then I created this abomination made entirely of flesh, who everyone's too scared to bond with. But after most adventures, we generally wound up telling Sig good luck as we forced him into horse jail to unlock abilities. Battles net you EXP and food items, which can be used to inns. Every character can eat a few items and raise select stats. If they like the food, it'll give a bigger boost, and if they dislike it, you'll lose a little. But of course, with that system, it leads to bad RNG, where your DPS doesn't want to eat attack boost items, and your MP chugging fiends hate items that raise theirs. I think one of the reasons I've enjoyed this game so much is because it doesn't really inspire any salt. That said, it doesn't really take itself seriously, so I didn't either. I just enjoyed what was given to me. The game essentially just feeds you fan service constantly, since you are most likely picking your favorite characters as the me. It's like whenever you get a piece of fan art and you get all choked up, but it's stretched out the entire length of an RPG. I've been streaming my entire playthrough, and not only have I been having a blast, but everyone in chat has been too. Normally, there's always a bunch of people trying to get a rise out of me or others, but the majority of Miitopia playthroughs have probably been the most well-behaved chat I've ever seen in a live stream. I think the most upset I saw people get was when I didn't pick their me for a character, I supposedly wasn't building my team based on the Mitopia meta, which is apparently a thing, or when I chose Hinoa to say for Kimura as her war cry instead of Ada Ada. I will say though, I definitely questioned my age as I would add my literal first anime crush to the roster and see plenty of who dats. But those bad vibes went away as soon as we hit the next track in the OST cause man!
There's a lot of bopping beats. So basically, if you like cute things, quirky RPGs, fun dialogue, and are a sucker for people making fan art or fan fiction of your favorite characters, then this is a good title for you. The price might be a little high for some people, but again, if you have OCs and you want to see them go on adventures, it's definitely worth it. Others might be annoyed it's another port to the Switch, but hey, like I said, I didn't get to play Miitopia 3DS, so this was brand new to me, and I can't really speak for anyone that has played the 3DS title. And after playing this, I really hope a sequel to Tomodachi Life is announced to E3.